Welcome to the Maldives, welcome to Club Mad Carney. Um, oh my god, the water is so warm, this is insane. So I'm back in the Maldives for the 2018 Club Med inside a boot camp. I'm currently shooting on the iPhone XS and I wanted to do a vlog today um, showing you guys what the quality of this camera is like because I've just got this iPhone. But for the rest of the trip I will be vlogging on GoPro and shooting GoPro content. But today, we're, I'm going to run you through what this camera is like. Oh my god, look at this place, this is heaven. I'm gonna test out the super slow-mo function. Damn, the water is so nice. So the super slow-mo function shoots at 1080, 240 FPS. Okay, check this out, here we go. I should also mention like I am splitting between the front camera and the back camera. Okay, I've just dropped the frame rate to 30 frames per second because apparently on this camera um, at 30 frames per second it has like an adjusted dynamic range. At 60 it doesn't do it but at 30 it auto corrects the dynamic range. So if we change lighting conditions like we're about to get super exposed, I'm now going to add the light behind me. Let me know if you can tell like if it's adjusting correctly. It'll be pretty evident in the video. You'll see the light picking up you know like full light on my face now the lights behind me so yeah I've just gone I'm shooting at 1080 30 frames per second I think that's an interesting feature for creators that just want to use their phone to, to like this to vlog also let me know what you think of the audio quality is it clear do you like it is it is this something that you can see yourself making a video with what do you guys reckon again sorry for the terrible view and the terrible location to film this video the focus is incredible also is the camera real shaky or do you notice the stability? Supposedly there's inbuilt stability on this thing. Nothing like GoPro stability, but apparently it's pretty good. Like I'm just holding this camera right now on a tripod. Here we go, lighting's gonna massively drastically change. Let me know if you can see the difference. Direct sunlight, whoa. Direct sunlight. Out of direct sunlight. <laughs> It's a horrible day today, absolutely horrible. I don't even know why I come to this place. <laughs> so we're about to go head over to the other resort. So this is Kani in the Maldives. Uh, it's an incredible part of the world. Look at that, just shades of blue, right? Blue ass water. Anyway, we're about to jump on a little boat and head over to uh, their sister resort. Like that is just ridiculous, right? And the sister resort is called Club Med Finaloo. We're just setting a whole bunch of things up for the boot camp today. Um, all the insiders, the selected guys are coming um, throughout the day. So tomorrow everything kicks off. So we're just kind of running through everything. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go take you over there, show you what's happening over there. Oh my God, the boat's here. Gotta go. To Club Med Finaloo. This place is my pretty much my ideal version of paradise. Look at that. Just blue, blue off water. It uh, changes from light blue to dark blue to turquoise. I don't know, name a shade of blue. It's here. Look at this place. So you 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 pretty much like when you arrive here, you're graced with this incredible walkway. It's like the most Instagram aesthetically pleasing thing in the world. Thank you for pictures in here. And um, yeah, can't wait to show you around this place. That thing there is the Insta-worthy swing. See that? Did you, that was the zoom as well. What do you reckon about the zoom quality on this bad boy? I'm just digitally zooming with my fingers. It's pinching and moving it in. 
moving it in. This, my friends, is the Club Med Finalu Villa. Overwater Villa, or bungalow. How nice is this? So you get your own little private pool, a walking through insides. But, oh man, if, if I ever get married, which I'm hoping to, I would love to spend my honeymoon here. <laughs> roughly started about a thousand US dollars a night so if you're yeah, no, if you're on a honeymoon you want to take your honey somewhere very very special and beautiful you got a bit of a budget you're gonna need it if you don't want to stay there you can also stay here there's these these are the um, just the beachside villas they're not the overwater ones but you also have that option if you do come to Finalu two types of accommodation. The final place that we're about to explore, or I'm about to show you, is the restaurant. And the restaurant here is, I mean, it's nothing short of remarkable. Heard this beat in my dream. Tell me you wouldn't want to experience this. Dinner with a blue view. Very blue. <laughs> Over water bungalow, and then just here you've got the beach villas. I mean, just as nice as each other. So today I've been shooting on the iPhone XS. I've been shooting around Club Med, Kani, and Finalu, two incredible parts of the Maldives. Things that I have disliked. Always I get asked about battery life when it comes to like these kind of videos. If you wanna use your mobile as a phone and communicate with people, it's not great because you're not gonna be able to vlog for an entire day. If you have a power bank, I'm sure that'll help you get through the day. The main problem I have with shooting vlogging content on a cell phone is this. It's just super tight all the time. Oh, it's so much cooler. For those of you guys wondering what I'm using to like lock off the shots. I've just got a little Monfrotto tripod and this clip I just bought from the airport. It was 20 bucks. Link in the description if you want to grab yourself one of these. So let's just review. Battery life has actually been quite good on this phone. I've actually been quite stoked with it. It's 10% now and I've been recording all day. I tend to steer away from using iPhones because you know, I want to still be able to use my phone, text, Instagram, do all the social media content and when you're vlogging, it tends to drain your battery. So that's why I normally have another camera, but this video is solely to like test it out and to see what the quality is like and whether you can actually vlog on an iPhone. So I have been stoked with that. If you're looking for an alternative to boost your audio, grab yourselves one of these. It's a Sennheiser mic. It's a lapel, it can just clip on or you can just hold it wherever. It also has an app which syncs with uh, the video content. So you don't have to like sync it in post. Um, so yeah, it's a Sennheiser. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get yourself one of these. Pretty cheap, good little accessory if you just want like a real quick, cheap, easy uh, setup. What are your thoughts on vlogging with the iPhone XS? Um, has it been good? I don't know, let me know. Have like this video, do punch thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Merch is now out as well. So if you want to grab that, I posted a little vlog on my second channel. I'll link that in the description for you as well. Love making videos for you. Love making videos for the internet. Have like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to YouTube channel. See you guys in the next upload. Yeah.